curious about how modern navies operate. In this video, we'll show you the powerful ships that make up a fleet, from aircraft carriers to submarines. Don't miss out on how they work together to dominate the seas. Navy ships are vessels designed and operated to carry out a wide variety of missions, including defense, transportation, patrolling, logistics, and rescue operations. These ships are organized into fleets that work in a coordinated manner under specific formations, depending on the type of mission or tactical situation. Aircraft carriers, for instance, stand out as the core of many modern fleets, serving as mobile bases for aircraft that can engage in combat or reconnaissance. The naval victory of Allied forces in World War II, largely due to aircraft carriers, made these vessels the most important ships and the most powerful weapon of a navy, replacing battleships as the flagship of a fleet. Naturally, the presence of aircraft carriers necessitates the support of other ship types, such as cruisers, destroyers, and frigates, to ensure their operational effectiveness and security. Cruisers are large warships designed to play a strategic role in naval fleets, with advanced offensive and defensive capabilities. Although their numbers are currently limited due to their high cost and the rise of multipurpose destroyers and frigates, they remain significant in some navies, such as those of the United States and Russia. Their displacement can exceed 10,000 tons, making them imposing ships. They are equipped with a powerful arsenal, including guided missiles, capable of targeting air, sea, and land threats, automatic guns, for defense against missiles and aircraft, torpedoes, to combat submarines and enemy ships, air defense systems, such as the Aegis or S-300 systems. They are equipped with advanced radar, sonar systems, electronic countermeasures, and missile launch platforms. Often, they serve as command centers for joint operations due to their technological capacity and space. Their primary role in many modern fleets is to defend the carrier strike group against air threats with advanced guided missiles. They can also bombard land targets with cruise missiles and artillery, providing support to military operations from the sea. Thanks to their size and technology, cruisers often act as command centers to coordinate naval operations. In addition to their own power, cruisers work in tandem with destroyers to provide a layered defense for aircraft carriers. While the cruiser offers a strategic offensive role, destroyers act as the rapid response force that defends against imminent threats, such as missile attacks or enemy ships. Destroyers are the workhorses of modern fleets. They are larger than frigates but smaller than cruisers, typically measuring between 120 and 200 meters in length. They are very fast, with speeds often exceeding 30 knots, 55 kilometers per hour, making them ideal for responding quickly to threats. They are heavily armed with surface-to-air, surface-to-surface, and anti-submarine missile systems, as well as automatic guns and torpedoes. Additionally, they are equipped with sophisticated radars and sensors, electronic warfare systems, and stealth capabilities in modern models. Their combination of speed, firepower, and flexibility makes them the backbone of naval operations. They commonly act as escorts for aircraft carriers, amphibious ships, and supply convoys, ensuring the fleet's survival. They have strong anti-ship defenses, capable of attacking enemy vessels with long-range missiles such as the famous Harpoon or Tomahawk missiles. Furthermore, their advanced surface-to-air missile systems provide protection against aerial attacks. In a similar vein, frigates are highly versatile and essential to modern navies. They are primarily used in escort, defense, and patrol roles, and their design allows them to operate both in coastal waters and on the high seas. Typically measuring between 100 and 150 meters in length, they are smaller than destroyers. Their speed usually ranges from 25 to 30 knots, 46 to 55 kilometers per hour, allowing them to react quickly in combat. They are designed to carry out a wide variety of missions, from air defense to anti-submarine warfare and maritime patrol. They have a well-balanced arsenal that includes anti-aircraft, anti-ship, and anti-submarine missiles, torpedoes, automatic guns, and, in some cases, embark helicopters. Among their main functions, they escort aircraft carriers, amphibious ships, or merchant vessels, ensuring their safety from naval threats. They also conduct missions in strategic areas, such as coastal surveillance, combating piracy, and preventing smuggling. Furthermore, some frigates are used for rescues, evacuations, and assistance during natural disasters due to their transport capacity and flexibility. 
In a more discreet way, submarines are fundamental to naval operations due to their ability to operate covertly, their combat versatility, and their deterrent role. Their presence, or even the mere threat of their existence, can completely change the dynamics of a naval war. The primary feature of submarines is their ability to operate underwater, where they are harder to detect. Some can dive to depths exceeding 500 meters, depending on their design. Submarines use nuclear reactors that allow them to operate underwater for months without needing to surface. Submarines are designed to be extremely quiet and difficult to detect, with coatings that reduce their acoustic signature. They are armed with torpedoes, cruise missiles, underwater mines, and, in some cases, ballistic missiles with nuclear capabilities. Moving to amphibious operations, amphibious assault ships are vessels designed to transport, deploy, and support troops, vehicles, and equipment during land assaults from the sea. They are key assets in power projection military operations and humanitarian missions due to their large transport capacity and versatility. They incorporate a combination of flight decks for aircraft, troop transport decks, and floodable bays for amphibious vehicles or landing craft. They can carry hundreds or thousands of troops, along with tanks, armored vehicles, artillery, helicopters, and vertical or horizontal takeoff aircraft. Designed to operate far from their bases, they can remain at sea for weeks or even months. They are also used for rescues, evacuations, and logistical support in natural disasters or humanitarian crises due to their transport capacity and medical equipment. Their large capacity allows them to transport equipment to rebuild bridges, prepare roads and pathways, set up improvised camps, etc. Lastly, logistics ships are essential for the operation of any naval force, as they enable resupply, transportation of provisions, and fleet maintenance during prolonged operations. Their main objective is to ensure that combat units can operate far from their bases for extended periods without needing to return for fuel, ammunition, food, or other supplies. Together, these ships form an integrated and interdependent naval force, where each vessel's capabilities complement and support those of others. This cooperation enables the fleet to adapt to a wide array of missions, from combat operations to humanitarian efforts, ensuring global presence and maritime security. The success of any modern navy depends not just on individual ships, but on how effectively they work together as part of a larger, coordinated effort.